Welcome back. As you might know, I've had a kid recently, about, I want to say about a year and a half ago. And in having the kid, I had the opportunity to reflect on a lot of things that, that defined my life and the failings of my parents and the many ways that I'm damaged and all the things that that I want to do better with my child. And, you know, you look at a small boy like this and you realize that when you're small, you're perfect, right? There is nothing broken. Like both your, your body functions amazingly well and there's nothing in your mind that is broken and you're just, you start out perfect. And then, and then life breaks you down, right? I mean, youth is rough. You've got bigger kids, you've got the bullying, you've got bad parents, you've got bad environments that physically affect you, you've got bad food. And in your formative years, in the time that you're not yet able to be accountable for your own life, you get broken down. And then a little bit later on, you become free, or you have the opportunity, if you're lucky, to become free. And it seems, and it's not me philosophizing, it's this beard. It seems that this is an opportunity to, to find yourself, to put yourself back together, to get back to as close to, as, as is possible to what you were before all that, which maybe is ironic. And before we get too far into topics that I'm not well suited for, think about myopia. And think about the irony of myopia, right? It's something you were all, everyone, we were born with amazing eyesight. Most of us, the vast majority of us. And then the reading and the schoolwork and in modern life, all the smartphones and computers and stuff broke down our vision, made us not be able to see far away. Philosophically speaking, no longer able to see the big picture and Tangibly speaking, we just couldn't see far away. And that's where many of us end up. And if you're watching this video, which, good job, you are looking to fix that. And I think it takes, you start out with great vision. And if you want great vision again, after your eyes have quote unquote broken, you have to want it. You have to make a choice to say, I want to see clearly far away without glasses, without contact lenses, without LASIK. I want my eyes to see into the distance. And that means you have to have a need for it, right? You're not planning on living behind screens. You're not planning on living unconsciously, passively looking into the world. You want to see. And while I skip a lot of these topics and while I'm mainly focusing on myopia and how myopia works and how you reverse myopia, the underlying theme of most of the people you meet in the Facebook group, in our support forum, among the readers are people that have made a choice, a conscious choice saying, I want to see clearly. And the only way you can get to seeing clearly is to understand yourself, is to understand your body, is to connect with your biology is to literally go outside, look into the distance and challenge your eyes. The only way back to seeing perfectly is to get closer to what you are and to have the desire to have this ability back. And that's why I like that Hemingway quote so much. A lot of what you want now, you were just given in the beginning. 
and then it was taken from you and to no fault of your own. But now to get it back, if you want it back, if you want your health back, if you want your strength back, if you want knowledge, if you want your mind to be uncluttered, if you want to see clearly, if you want any or all of these things, it's a journey, it's a challenge, and it's reward if you get there. So for me personally, it's been a journey of passively seeing the world, of passively accepting mainstream dogma, of passively being part of this profit machine of who knows, here are some glasses, to not being able to do a lot of things that I do today. It's windy outside right now, and after this video, I'm planning on going kite surfing for a few hours, which I couldn't do with contact lenses. I couldn't do if I was wearing glasses because I need to see clearly far away. I'm in the ocean. I need my natural eyes. And I spent a decade getting my eyes back. And it's something that I now had to earn what at some point I just had for free. And that's the part that I appreciate most about this journey for myself. And that is one of the things that I appreciate most about you, about the Facebook group members, about our readers, about the emails I get is I know these are all people that have made a conscious choice and that have accepted this challenge. And whether it's me or other vision improvement things, whether you succeed at first or not, doesn't matter. Remember, I didn't succeed for a long time. It, it shouldn't have taken a decade to get my sight back. But it's embarking on this journey and it's failing at it. And it's saying, okay, so this didn't work. Do I quit because the Bates thing didn't work for me? Or do I keep searching? Do I keep looking? Do I keep not trusting this idea that I'm somehow broken? Very fundamental things. And I think much more than I can do it justice or will do it justice in this one video. But this whole basic premise of you're starting with this idea of not accepting that you're, that you're broken, you know, of not accepting that you need this crutch in your face that's sitting in your face that you're always aware of, that people who look at you are looking at. Like you're, you're broken in this so many different metaphorical and actual ways with glasses. So if you're on this journey and if you're watching these YouTube videos and if you're leaving brilliant comments, which does not happen a lot, but if you're enjoying these videos, which I sometimes get comments and email at least, realize that you're doing something that a lot of people are not. You're doing something that many, many people never become consciously aware of. They never take that step of saying, I want this back, right? And fail at it for a while is perfectly fine. Succeed at it, treasure the success and enjoy a life that, whether it's kite surfing or whatever it is that you enjoy, you've now earned it. This message is brought to you by, by this beard, which I've still not given up on. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.